Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. On today's show we're having a comparison of two, scrap that, we are having a battle of two helmets because every now and again you've got to stand up for what you believe in. We're going to be looking at fast and light helmets. Now this is my Petzl Meteor helmet. It's an old model, about four years old now, so the colour you see in the shop will be slightly different from this. I love this thing. It's had my back in trad climbs, sport climbs, multi-pitches, big mountains. This has always protected me. But this is Andrea. And Andrea reckons his black diamond vapour is better than my Meteor. Now instead of sitting down and having a nice civilised chat over coffee, we're going to have a face off. It's kind of isn't quite what I envisaged, something like more dramatic or Weight, 220 grams. <sighs> Weight, 186 grams. Round two. Okay, size, 48 to 56 or 53 to 61. Now, I have the smallest head known to mankind and yet, <laughs> I still fit the medium. Okay. That's similar to you. This is a 53 to 59, and the other one is a 58 to 63. Impressive. All right. Best feature, the fit. Super adjustable for all head types. Easy ratchet system on the back. Head torch compatible, of course, back and front. That torch ain't going nowhere, baby. My best feature is breathability. The helmet is covered in bands and it will keep you dry and cool. Well done. All right, let's talk about vision. This thing stays nicely on the top of your head, clear view regardless of the activity, and if you rock your head around, this thing don't slip down and keeps sunglasses perfectly in place. This helmet is so minimal, it's not gonna get into your eyes, no matter how hard the climb is. Excellent. All right, yours may look aggressive, but this has a look all of its own, a techie climber kind of style, and the vents give it an extra voom. And let's talk about the color. Many colors, all with that special Petzl styling. There ain't no one color like your thing. Look at it, it's colourful, aggressive, and you'll look good even after a 10 hour long climb. Outstanding. Alright, protection. EPS, polycarbonate shell. Just like yours, EPS foam and polycarbonate shell. Brutality. Okay, let's get personal. My favourite story about the Meteor, well, I was convinced that I didn't need one of those lightweight helmets. I had one of the Petzl Boreo things. Good helmet, no lightweight. So, I went climbing, I was in the Peak District. What happens? Classic Matt, lost my helmet. My mate gave me one of these babies and I led my first E3 ever. Next day, back in London, bought one of these, never left my head. This summer I spent six days in a row climbing on Trochi Medi Lavaredo and the vapor protected me super well even when rocks were falling around. I felt super comfortable. Well done. Alright then. I see your story and I raise you a close call. This thing has saved my life. I was on Mount Mordit, descending. Team ahead of me fell off, dragged me off the mountain, guillotining me. I fell about 250 meters down the slope, narrowly avoiding crevasses, hitting snow ridges. My head, 
absolutely fine. I've never been as unlucky as you, but when ice and rock were falling around, I've never been in trouble. Impressive. All right, my friend, you've played a good game. Your helmet's kind of cool, but I've got one more card in my arsenal which is gonna blow you away. Price, 56 euros in the Epic TV shop. Now, if I'm not mistaken, my friend, that is half the price of your black diamond. You just can't compete. Oh, I can't compete. This one is 119 euros. Flawless victory. Unlucky man, outdone by the price. Helmet drop it. I'm not going to drop it because it's, it's nice helm. I don't know. Should we, uh, should we go? Yeah. Look, that was a little bit of fun, but both these helmets, they're pretty good, right? Oh yeah, sure. So 119 euros, 56 euros, and I think we kind of worked out that's what it comes down to really, because mm -hmm. you might prefer the styling. I mean, you love the aggression of that yeah, one, right? Exactly. And the colors, it, this is a bit gaudy perhaps, this is more aggressive, but they both have fantastic features, but that price is kind of a killer point. Yeah. So there you go. If you're looking for an aggressive helmet with loads of vents, go for that one. If you're looking for something more techy, then consider the Petzl. But if you're short on cash and want a fast and light helmet, then this wins at the moment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.